Morning YouTube, friends and family, welcome to the weekend. I hope you enjoyed the gear review yesterday. If I could, you know, test gear and review gear as a small part of my life regularly, that would be a lot of fun. We have a soccer game in the next couple towns over and I have to replace my bathroom exhaust fan. Doesn't that sound like a lot of fun? Well, I hope you do, because I'm going to take you along. Thanks for coming with me on my day, and stick around. Breakfast ready, guys! All right, we're supposed to be leaving for soccer, and Zephyr's nowhere to be found. Beeping the horn, yelling his name. He's nowhere. Zephyr! By the time you watch this, I may or may not have fixed yesterday's vlog. You know, part of the discouraging thing is that you spend a lot of time to create something, then you watch it, and it's really good. And then when you go to upload it, it fails. So there's a problem now with iMovie on my phone. I don't know what the problem is. I'm hoping, uh, I'm just hoping that I can figure it out and that it doesn't recur. insufferability with me and my vlog. Oh, what is it? I, I Did you used to watch the Smurfs? No, I couldn't stand the Smurfs. You didn't watch the Smurfs? Are you I, familiar with I'm the Smurfs? I'm familiar with the whole concept of Smurfs. So, do you remember Vanity Smurf? He remember. walked around, he carried a mirror everywhere he went. Yeah. And he talked to himself in the mirror. Yeah. Just take away the mirror and put your phone there instead. <laughs> well, it's, it's the creation. It's like the making of the movie. It's not like the the, the act of looking at making myself. Making a movie about yourself. I'm making a movie about life that people can relate with and resonate. Just a little solipsistic. A solipsistic what? Navel gazing. Well, how do you explain the whole phenomenon then? Um, dudes like to gaze at their navel. Because you know it's right past their neighbor. Well, lots of women vlog too, and lots of couples vlog. Maybe. But what makes me insufferable about it? So when we're driving and you put it in my face like this, so you can see out the window, <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> Nice, 
There you go. Stay with it. shouldn't get so worked up about these technology snafus that I have with iMovie and uploading to YouTube and all that jazz but you know when you invest as much time as I do into taking the footage um, editing the movie and uploading and it doesn't work and then you don't know if it's gonna work that night when you do the same thing all over again kind of makes you a little nervous about things but anyway I'm going on about my day I need to replace uh, our bathroom exhaust fan. I'll show you how to install a bathroom exhaust fan today. Won't that be interesting? Is my defunct Panasonic Whisper Green, Whisper Green inline fan. I am going to replace it with a Fantac fan, which I think is perhaps a little bit higher quality and better suited for this purpose. So first step, tear all this stuff out. happens to me I get like half three quarters of the way through the job and realize I don't have the materials that I need to finish this job you know I need some foil tape neither of which I have I just searched all over the place and couldn't find any so after I get this thing wired up to make sure it'll work I'm going to head over to the local hardware store also known as my dad's house Okay, so this is the real test. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Ooh, man, that really cranks out. Now I'm gonna shut off the power supply and go get some foil tape.
So way out here in the country, my dad has built this beautiful English garden that he and Linda have just, just gushing with all of these beautiful flowers. And oh, Linda, Andre is going to love these. Wow, what are these? They're zinnias. They're zinnias? this job now, I have my foil tape. I am anxious to learn is because I'm an energy nerd I'm gonna measure this fan my old fan was moving 52 cubic feet a minute I wonder what this new fan will do well this is not even moving any air well that's a major disappointment I measured uh, the fan and it's like it's not moving any air so I, uh, I'm going to have to troubleshoot this thing tomorrow. I'm not afraid to admit that the damn thing doesn't work the way I installed it. I must have done something wrong or the duct work is not proper. I don't know. I'm done for the day with that thing though. I'm going to figure this out tomorrow. Do you ever have some days where you just feel like, you know, you're a failure or at least your actions were failed actions. Today was one of those days for me. You know, when I woke up this morning, I realized that my vlog was all messed up from yesterday. Which, you know, big deal. It's a vlog. It's not like a mission critical thing in life, but something I spend a lot of time on. And then I was very excited to show you all the proper way to install a bathroom exhaust fan. And I failed at that too, man. And I know better, you know? Uh, I should title this, How Not to Install a Bathroom Exhaust Fan, because I made some critical mistakes that I knew better about, like flexible ductwork. Never use flexible ductwork if you can avoid it. <clears throat> elbows, try to avoid using any elbows if possible. So, two major faux pas that when I'm doing an energy audit, I recommend people don't do. And I just went ahead and did it myself because it was the materials I had on hand and I just wanted to get it done. And anyway, cutting corners never pays off. So tomorrow I fix that darn fan. I'm gonna try some different video editing software that I have tonight too. I had moved away from that just because it was so slow, but you know, it's more reliable. So anyway. Um, I don't mean to unload, but you know, it's just one of those days. Not every day goes great. Today just was not a good day for me. I am glad, however, that you all came along with me to share in my misery. Huh. Thanks again, and we'll see you tomorrow.